point two frequency distributions. It's a simple table that collects the data in certain classes or categories. Can represent both quantitative data and qualitative data. Important terms used in frequency distributions table. A class interval is an interval that includes all the values in a quantitative data set that fall within two numbers, known as the lower and upper limits of the class, lower class limit and upper class limit. The lower class limit, lower limit is the smallest value in the class. The upper class limit, upper limit is the largest value in the class. The class boundary, or sometimes referred to as the true class limit, is given by the midpoint of the upper limits of the preceding class and the next preceding lower limit of the next class. So, we can obtain lower and upper class boundary. Class width equal to upper boundary minus lower boundary. Class mark or midpoint equal to lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. A frequency distribution table for quantitative data lists all the classes and the number of values that belong to each class. The relative frequency of a class is frequency of the class divided by the sum of frequencies f divided by summations of f. The relative frequency distributions table, example 6. You are given a table that show class and frequency. For the first class, 5 to 8 frequency 3. Second class, 9 to 12 with the frequency 5. The third class, 13 to 16 with the frequency 8. Next, 17 to 20 with the frequency 7s. The fifth class, 21 to 24, with the frequency 6. The last class, 25 to 28, with the frequency 2. Based on the frequency distributions, construct a relative frequency distributions table. To construct the relative frequency distributions table, you must have class, frequency, cumulative frequency, midpoint, class boundary, and the relative frequency. For the class, you can copy back from the previous table. So we have 5 to 8, 9 to 12, 13 to 16, 17 to 20, 21 to 24, and for the last class, 25 to 28. Next, for the frequency, also you can copy back from the previous table. You should get... 3, 5, 8, 7, 6, 2. And you can find the summations of frequency by add up the frequency here. You should get 31. Okay, now let's find the cumulative frequency. To find the cumulative frequency of each classes, you can refer to the frequency of each classes. So, the cumulative frequency of the first class, you can get by referring to the frequency of the first class, which is 3. So, cumulative frequency of the first class is 3. Cumulative frequency of the second class, you can get by taking the frequency of the first class plus the frequency of the second class, which is 3 plus 5 equal to 8. The cumulative frequency for the third class you can get by taking frequency of the first class which is 3 plus with the cumulative sorry the frequency of the second class 5 plus the frequency of the third class which is 8 so we get 16 and you can repeat the process you should get 23 29 and 31 next Let's find the midpoint of each classes. To find the midpoint, you will take the lower limit plus the upper limit divided by 2. 
for example for the first class you can take 5 plus 8 divided by 2 so you should get 6.5 for the second class you can take 9 plus 12 divided by 2 so we will get 10.5 you will repeat the process so you should get 14.5 18.5 22.5 and the midpoint for the last class is 26.5 now let's find the class boundary so to obtain the class boundary you should take the midpoint of the upper limit of the preceding class and the next preceding lower limit of the next class now let's refer to the second class let's find the lower boundary for the second class so to find the lower boundary of the second class you can take 8 plus 9 divided by 2 so you will get 8.5 now to find the upper boundary of the second class you will take 12 plus 13 divided by 2 which is you should get 12.5 for the first class the upper boundary you should get by taking 8 plus 9 divided by 2 which is 8.5 and for the lower boundary you should get 4.5 and you can repeat, repeat the process for the third class the lower boundary is 12.5 and the upper boundary is 16.5 okay the next class the lower boundary is 16.5 and the upper boundary is 20.5 next lower boundary is 20.5 the upper boundary is 24.5 for the last class the lower boundary is 24.5 and the upper boundary is 28.5 now let's find the relative frequency to find the relative frequency we will take frequency of each classes divided by summations of frequency for example the relative frequency of the first class you can get by taking frequency of the first class which is 3 divided by summations of frequency which is 31 so 3 divided by 31 you should get 0 0.10 after we rounded the answer to two decimal places then you can repeat the same process for example for the second class relative frequency you can get by taking frequency of the second class which is 5 divided by the summations of frequency which is 31 so 5 divided by 31 you will get 0 0.16 also after we rounded the answer to two decimal places so you can repeat the process we will get 0 0.26 0 0.23 0 0.95 and the last one 0 0.06 you should get the total is 1.00 for the relative frequency